The U.S. has really stepped up to help COVID vaccination efforts around the world. That, of course, includes several Caribbean nations. The Bahamas is recent, the recent recipient of thousands of Pfizer vaccines, and this is good news. It comes as the Bahamian Olympians are welcomed home with a massive celebration. Our DeAndre Hamilton reports. While the islands breathe a sigh of relief that now tropical depression Fred has passed us by, country officials in particular are soaking up the fact that top-rated Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine has come to the Bahamas and it is courtesy of the United States of America. The news came on Wednesday just as New Providence and Grand Bahama went into tighter restrictions due to the surging cases of COVID-19. Here's what happened at the Linden Pindling International Airport on Thursday morning. So uh, these vaccines will buttress the vaccines that are already in the Bahamas, will provide enough for Bahamians to achieve herd immunity so we can finally get through this thing. So I'm very proud to be the representative of the United States here today. Uh, this gift from the American people to the Bahamas is, of course, an enduring representation and symbol of our friendship. So again, a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank President Joseph Biden and his administration. I also wish to thank U.S. Embassy in Nassau, the Charge Affairs, Usher, Pitts, and other embassy officials. And I thank the Bahamian officials who helped in the process of securing these vaccines. The U.S. Embassy has always been a good partner to us. An embassy provided critical logistical support for the rollout of the vaccine in the family islands the Hamans were also thrilled to get home Olympic champion Stephen Gardner and other outstanding Olympians on Thursday. The Minister of Sports, Iram Lewis, a former Olympian and Gardner's cousin, was elated. Usually, these welcome homes are huge public events drawing thousands of Bahamians to motorcades and meet and greet moments. The pandemic has changed that style, but it has certainly not toned down the pride and joy of the Bahamian people. Congratulations and welcome home.